How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video and today I want to talk about a number of things. We have the recent tweet by EA calling us beta testers, status of the game so far, we have a scaling bug and we do have potentially the first insights to the Elysium caches or at least faction themed cosmetics. So let's get cracking. If you'd like to support the channel and enjoy the content, drop a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell to be notified of all content I release, and don't forget to share. Right, so EA, beta testers, what is all this malarkey going on? Well, if you look at the screen right now, you'll see this tweet. It's from EA Help, calling all freelancers. We need your help tracking down problems with Anthem Game. Quick play missions, head to Answers HQ to help us out. So if you head over there, they're basically asking you to fill up a bug report. And this is pretty common in games like this. Bungie do it, The Division do it, everyone pretty much does it in a service game like this. It is pretty much standard practice. If you find a bug, you report it. Of course, all it takes is 10 minutes of gameplay and you'll have recreated it. So why they're asking us to do this is another point entirely. I get that side of the frustration. But just because one Redditor decided to call it, they are now calling us beta testers, I'm seeing this everywhere. We are not beta testers. They're not asking you to do anything. They are just saying that if you experience it in a certain way, report it. Because they may have like 10, 15 reports. There are hundreds and thousands of people playing Anthem. If they get a thousand reports and they can correlate the responses and narrow it down, that means they can find a problem to this issue a lot faster. What is wrong with that? Absolutely nothing. They've done nothing wrong here. They've just appealed to the community that if you find a problem, report it here. They've been doing this from the get-go. The Division is doing this. Destiny is doing this. Everyone is doing this. Why is it any different when EA does this? Oh, but because it's EA, we have to start calling it. You know, it's silly. I mean, it's just silly. Okay, I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, sure, the game has problems, but come on. This is just silly. They are not calling us beta testers. No matter which way you look at it, they are not calling us beta testers. So if you see this elsewhere, it's fake news. The whole situation that's been blown out of proportion is fake news. Next, I wanted to talk about the state of the game. Well, as you know, the loot problem is still persisting. The embers should have been patched by now. So now if you go and collect resources and chests, you should be getting masterwork embers. These are required in turn to craft your masterwork weapons if you have the blueprints. That being said, at least that's out of the way. The loot situation, however, is still in the air. There's no response from Bioware regarding this. They are staying quite eerily quiet about this. They are revealing very little at the moment, most likely because they're stuck behind closed doors working their asses off and fixing things. They are pretty much now on DEFCON 2 and trying to make sure they can fix as much as humanly possible for the next patch. I can only imagine how tense and uncomfortable it must feel to be in that room right now. So I hope things turn around and they can actually shape this round because I mean it's plain as day that everyone can see that they are doing everything they can to make this a better game. So hopefully we'll hear something soon and I can come back and report on it. Not just some fake news with the beta testers that has been going on. But as of right now there has been no update to the loot and more bugs seem to be surfacing every day. Next we have the scaling bug. So how does the scaling bug work? Since the patch, the game scales damage of combos, ultimates, procs and melee based on the average item level you have equipped. But if you don't have an item equipped at all in that slot, that slot is not taken into account during the calculation at all. Meaning by removing the low level support item, it boosts your average item level for purposes of the calculation. Now this is a pretty big bug, it can actually increase your item level and effectiveness quite a bit. Not only that, someone actually figured out a way to actually remove all your items and just keep a couple bare necessities on just to demonstrate how much more powerful you can be. Because the more items you remove, the more components you remove and leave not in place, you can actually get even more powerful. So ultimately, the best way right now to increase your power is to not equip anything and have the most minimal of stuff equipped. I know it sounds crazy, right? 
But thankfully the Bioware community manager Andrew has pretty much come out and said that they are working on it. This was four hours ago. They're working on it and a fix for this will be available very, very soon. So this is pretty much just an announcement that this bug does exist. I am not sure if it's safe. Bioware has not come out and said that if you do this, you'll be banned. If you don't do this, you'll be banned. So if you do do this, do it at your own risk. If you are worried about getting banned, then don't do this. But simply put, the more items you have unequipped, the more powerful your javelin is. And to me, that is crazy. But, but it's a nice bug. They found it in the QI world. This is actually a really cool bug. But it's nasty that's actually in the game and people found it and are now using it to clear certain content a lot easier. So that aside, do with it as you will. I'm not going to be... I personally wouldn't be using this, but I thought it was funny enough. I thought it was funny, so I thought I'd report on it. Removing equipment actually makes you stronger, right? That's crazy. Right, so next we move on to what I'm assuming will be coming from the Elysium caches when they arrive later this month. So Anthem Archives have stealthily data mined some cosmetics that wasn't in the game previously. They've been recently added to the loot pool in the database, and they've now been data mined. And if you look at them, in my previous video, I was talking about, you know, faction themed loot, right? Faction themed weapons. Well, it seems I wasn't far off. We'll be getting scar based armor and it does look pretty sweet. There's one for each class. You've got it for the Ranger. Colossus. Storm. And the Interceptor. On top of this, they also managed to data mine two decals. You can see the first one here in green with the skull laughing. It looks pretty nice, I have to admit. Probably one of the first ones I actually like. And the next one, probably my favourite out of the two, is this one. It's simple, it's clean, and I think it would look really nice on my Colossus. But you know, these are data mined. We don't know if they're going to come to the store so you can purchase through coin or shards or if they're actually going to be part of the Elysium caches. My guess is that they're going to be part of the Elysium caches, but who knows? We just don't know where they're going to come from, but I just thought I'd get this out there. I haven't seen many people talking about this and I thought it's pretty interesting considering I only just mentioned it the other day when it came to my video about the six most wanted things. I talked about faction related loot, faction themed weapons well this kind of fits into that right so i wasn't far off and it makes me happy to see things like this so hopefully now that we've got the scars we can get stuff for like outlaws we can get stuff for the dominion and maybe even other factions so we can just start expanding on our horizon right cosmetics are endgame after all that is what we live for cosmetics is everything well guys that's pretty much all for this video i hope you enjoyed it TLDR, we talked about fake news with the tweet. We talked a bit about the state of the game and no update to loot patches, but we have fixed the embers. We've talked about a scaling bug and how that's just completely ridiculously stupidly broken and yet hilariously funny at the same time. And finally, we went over what could potentially be the first items for the Elysium caches, which is my best bet, or for the cosmetic shop. But I still believe they will be for the Elysium caches because they are coming very soon. Right. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have, don't forget to support the channel. It does mean a lot to me and we are getting closer to that 5k and if we do get to that 5k we'll be doing another giveaway. So 5k is the goal, at 5k we'll be doing another giveaway. So the sooner we get to that 5k magic number, the sooner we can do another giveaway. Until then, freelancers, remain legend.